import mailboxes, you're going to need to grant some rights. So open Active Directory, Users and Computers, and I'm going to create a group and assign rights to that group. something sensible. Mailbox import. It has to be a universal security group. Add in the users that you want to grant import and export rights to. I'm just going to add in the domain administrator. Apply. OK. So, open the PowerShell Exchange Console. It'll take a few seconds just to spill up. I'm going to grant the import and export right to the user group that we've just created. There's a the command on the screen. I'll put it on the website so you can copy and paste it. it takes a few seconds to run. That's it done. Now remember we've just granted rights to a group, so before we can inherit those rights we're going to need to log off and back on again. Let's log back on. back in with the correct rights, we should be able to import our, our PST files into our mailboxes. Let's launch the exchange management shell and execute the following command. Again I'll put this on the website so you can copy and paste it. Got a thousand mailboxes, so I've sped this up. And what that's doing is it's queuing them all to be imported. They're not actually importing at that speed. Uh, the whole process is throttled depending on resources available to the exchange box. Now you can see which ones have completed and which ones are still queued by executing the following commands. You see the minute it's got up to 108 if I scroll to the top we'll see user 1 has completed. So that's already imported so let's have a look at user 1's mailbox and make sure that his mail has been imported. I'm simply going to log into Outlook Web App as user 1 Test email that was sent to the 2010, and that message was sent to the mailbox when it was on the 2003 exchange box before it was exported. So I know that that is imported successfully into user number one's inbox. Now remember, these mailbox imports are all queuing up in the background. So what we need to do is we need to clear them because even when they are complete, see they're no longer any queued. But if we do a status complete, you see we've got a thousand of them still sat there. To tidy up we need to clear them off. And to do that we execute the following command. Once again, I'll put this on the website, and this removes the mailbox import request, and that will remove them all, all the completed ones. Select A for all. Now I've sped this up 
it does take quite some time. So if you look, see if there's none now completed, and there's none now queued. That's us done, and all our mail imported. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlife.com.